deceiving and being deceived. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, 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 but what was it about? So how do you prepare Christ for the kind of that this world has never Christ seen? What, what, what would you consider if you would like to have the Christian? answer, get a free copy of the great controversy. Yes, you could say that. Free with no strings attached. What, what would you be your denomination? Are, are you Baptist? Uh, are trouble. you Lutheran? My denomination is where two or three Most are gathered in my name. There I am with him. That's Nor Christ. Can you get and Christ is after you are here. Nor should we wait to find two. out what to do in the midst two. of an two. emergency what do you believe and about Jesus? scrambling two. around in confusion. Genesis because chapter 1, we weren't expecting to happen. Revelation 22, it is and sure everything in between. Prevent what's coming. That's what, uh, my my, my question was, what would you believe about Jesus? Sorry? What would you believe about Jesus? That's what this I said. This is why this information I is believe about Jesus from Genesis chapter 1. We only have a limited amount of this book. The great controversy is that it is God happy today. Yes. Oh, you believe it's God? Yeah. He is the creator of everything. What then is your view of the Lord? Do you believe that we have to keep the Sabbath? I don't have views. I tell, I'll tell you the Bible, the Bible view. The Bible view is um, all scripture is given by inspiration in profitable for God, for instruction in righteousness. Two of men is um, furnished, fully furnished, equipped, fully furnished for every good work. So, so what, what, what so would then be the Sabbath? So questions pertain to the Sabbath, not the scriptures. Yes, you can say the scriptures are God brief. What, okay. what do you mean by Sabbath? What, what do I think? I, I think about the Sabbath, what I think about murder. And adultery, and 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 and, and theft, and and, and and disrespecting parents. That's what I think about the Sabbath. They're called Ten Commandments, not nine, not two. I believe the Ten Commandments are the righteousness of Christ, and righteousness is a right doing. Right doing is measured by the law, just as much as we are going to be judged not according to to works, but I mean, we're going to be judged according to the law. Do you believe that if anybody breaks the Sabbath, they're essentially not a Christian? I believe if every man, the Bible says, uh, Paul says in Romans, uh, any man who breaks the law, uh, or, uh, I mean, has committed sin, and for sin is breaking the law. What doesn't Paul say in Romans 3, 3 verse, so Paul says in Romans 3 verse 28, that it's, not, it's by faith you're saved, not by your works. He says in Romans 4, that for a man who doesn't work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. So I, I also believe that. Yes. So, we, we, so if you believe that, then if anybody does break the Sabbath, and by your no, opinion, no, 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 you're putting words in my mouth. If any man breaks the law, he is sin. This is your. So it doesn't matter. We, sorry that again, because I didn't hear that. If any man breaks the law. He has committed sin. Yes, I, I understand he's committed sin, but is he, is he still a Christian? Would you, would you call a, a, a Christian that sin? A Christian? Yeah. God winks, but also, also when. Oh, no, but my question was, you didn't ask my question. My question was, do you believe they're still a Christian even if they sin? They are, they are still a Christian. Uh, it, it, it's an intensive care word, but what, what, but what happens when you sin? No sin is forgiven unless it's confessed. And to confess is to turn around from it. Oh, Jesus, know this. That Christ ever lives to make intercession for us. Yes. And according to First John, if any man says he has no sin in him, then he's a liar, and the Father's not in him. Yes. yes. So by conclusion, yes, we shouldn't sin. For example, Hebrews six tells us clearly that um, sin leads to death. Right. No, it's very, it's very clear in Hebrews six. Right. That, right. Should we continue in, continue in sin? So that Taking grace may abound. God forbid we shouldn't do so. But by the same token, for the man who does not work but believes in him who just was the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Don't get, me, don't, so don't, don't get keeping the Sabbath is not something that leads to damnation. Salvation. Neither does it mean to damn that. Albert, Ephesians 2 to 8. Albert, Ephesians 2 8 to 10 tells us that is for by choice, by faith you're saying, okay. not by works, no, I get lest you. a man should boast. I get you. I get that point. For those works which God calls us to work, we will work. That's what Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 10 says. Right. How about you? Yeah, that's not my problem. But that's not my problem. That's, not my problem. Why didn't you that's a personal insult. That's not it. That's just a, you're just attacking me as a person. But let's get back to the Bible. Yeah. That's yeah, let's, let's, stick on yeah, let's stick on the Bible. I don't, I don't, I don't care about me. I, I, I could be smelling of whatever. It don't matter. So let's stick on topic, right? So the Bible says the Bible says that the Sabbath was made for man, and the man. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just okay. thinking. Uh, I, I don't know very well. Right? It doesn't matter, but, right? So the Bible says the Sabbath was made for man, and the man was made for the Sabbath, right? But what is Jesus doing in Matthew? I asked you a question that you have What is Jesus doing in Luke seven? What I'm saying is, I asked you. Jesus in Luke seven breaks the Sabbath. 
you're looking at me. You're yeah, 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 I'm me. just, I'm telling you, I'm telling no, 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 you what no, the Bible says. Is, the Bible I'm shows us, the that Bible you. shows us that you. Jesus breaks the Sabbath. Brother, you, want you, you don't want to hear what the Bible says. I can read it out to you. No, no, what I'm saying is, you have not given me a chance to speak. You are speaking. Okay, and then you end up, let me find my claim first. Let me finish my point first. No, no, you're speaking. It's supposed to be a conversation. You have given me the... No, no, but it's supposed to be a conversation. I've noticed you've got no Bibles there because you're not actually preaching from the Bible. Brother, the Bible says... Why are you just giving out your own books? Brother, give out the Bible. Brother, give out the Bible to people. You don't even believe in the Lord. You're talking at me. You are not talking to me. Are you saying right now? You're talking at people. You're not giving them the gospel. Look, I want hand the camera to their tents. You're not giving out one Bible there. Yeah. My friend, the word of God is not over there. You're talking at me. Why do you not have the word of God on those tents? Why are you talking at me? Why are you not Why are you, why are you not giving Bibles to the public why, why, when that's God's word and not your opinion? You're giving out your opinion, you're not giving out God's word. Okay. That's the end of the discussion. You are you are, you are not willing to have a conversation. You are not a brother. I, I am having a conversation. No, you're I'm not having a conversation. You're having a conversation with you. You're cutting me off. You're not responding to what I said. No, you're cutting me off. You just cut me off. Are you are you going to respond to what I said? Sorry? Are you going to respond? What I said. All right. Uh, what happens to people when they commit adultery? What, what, what does God think about adultery? What does God, God, God think about adultery? All sins are bad. No, I'm not denying it. Yeah. I'm not denying it. And the Bible says that all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Of course. The Bible also tells us that there's no other justification for sins. It's only through the atonement of blood, saving blood of Jesus Christ can be saved. If you believe that you can be saved from you doing good works, then you are a heretic. But who said anything about good works? Well, that's a word. I, didn't, I never said that. You're putting it's it in your mouth. It's a word. I never said that. So I do, you believe that sub, do, you have, do you believe you have to keep the Sabbath? I didn't say that. Do you believe that you have to keep the Sabbath? You've got the loudest I'm, voice. I'm asking you a question. And you, you're not asking a question. Anyway, that's you've even, that's so you're running away from me. Come on. I mean, you, you guys don't even have Bibles there, so I mean, it makes sense. You guys are a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. You, look, look what's going on. You guys are a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. You're a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. Look at you. There is not a Bible on this table. You don't believe in the Lord, you believe in yourselves. You, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. But you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why is the Bible in this place? Why is there not one Bible there? Why is there not one Bible there? Why are you asking questions? 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 Why do you not have a Bible there? Why do you ask questions if you don't want an answer? Wait, 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 no, no, you don't get that. No, why don't you have a Bible there? Why do you ask questions when you don't want an answer? Why don't you have a Bible there? 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 It's not many questions. You, you have Why is there not a Bible? No, you haven't got the could actual you, could you discussion. Stop? Could you stop? Seriously. No, no, could you stop? You don't have a right to do that. Yeah, and it's irrelevant. You shouldn't be doing that. No, it's it's an invasion of personal space. You, 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 you see how you behave like demons? You want to go like Christians? You guys are false prophets. You are demons. You believe in the workspace salvation. You are heretics. I'm not angry right now. I'm testing the spirits. The fact is, your, your tent does not have Bible. Your tent does not have Bible. Where's the Bible? Where's the Bible? You don't even believe in the God's word. You don't even believe in God's word. My friend, do you believe in God's word? I do believe in God's word. Okay, then why is there not a Bible there? No, because we are alone. We can give. You're, you're, you're promoting your own religion. You're not promoting the Bible. Okay, promote Jesus. What, what you're promoting is the great controversy. Amy, look at that. The great controversy. I can see John Wycliffe, to Martin Luther, William Tyndale. Right? Do you know who they are? Do you know who they are? Who, who are they? Reformers, right? Right. What do they mean to you? What do they mean to you? Uh, they mean to adults me. are talking. What, what, what do they mean to you? What they mean to me is that... Uh, adults are talking. What do they mean to you? What they mean to me is that I don't just have to take a word from a priest. Yeah, I have to read for myself. Study the Bible for myself. No, no, that's not what the Bible says. No, no, what? You have to study the Bible for yourself. Yeah, the Bible says study, show yourself approved. I don't deny that. The Bible says study, show yourself approved. I'm not, I'm not denying that. But the Bible also says in Philippians 1 that bishops were set up in the church. You can't just come with your interpretation. That's not how, the, that's not how history works. That's why there's so much false churches. You know, my, my friend, we're having a discussion. If you want to enter into the discussion, show some cool duality and then come and have this conversation. The adults are talking. I can't listen to both at the same time. The adults are talking. Okay, listen to one of them. No, I, I wanted to talk to you. You were talking to me. This guy was being very rude to you. He was being very rude to you. He interrupted you. Your religion is a cult. Do you know how much Jehovah's Witness?
witnesses do the same things as you. Nash Mormons do the same things as you. Amy, Amy, you're a cameraman. Do not speak, okay? I'm sorry, I know it sounds rude, but please, learn learn to just stick when you're being the camera, please, okay? Yeah. The fact is, Jehovah's Witnesses do what you do. You guys are blasphemers, you are whores and sons of Satan. You do not have the gospel because the gospel is not there. Look, hand the camera, Amy. Show that they have no Bible. They just have their own words. They only have their own words. They have no Bible. I see you on YouTube all the time. Yeah, how are you doing, man? You're very, you're very first, but what's the beef? Well, the, the beef is these are not Christians. They believe that you have to keep the Sabbath to be keep yeah, Christian. They, the they believe you have to keep no the Sabbath to be Christian. That's not a Bible. What's the gospel? I'm repeating myself. The adults are talking. Okay, where is the gospel? Where's the Where's the Bible? Where's the Bible? Show me the Bible. Oh, show me the Bible. Let, let me read that. Let me read that. You scared? Let me read that. Where's the Bible here? You've got one Bible and you've got tons of your own literature. This is hoarding. You believe in your own God you've just served. You don't believe in Jesus. That's one Bible. Jehovah's Witnesses have a Bible. But do you believe it? No. Because if you believed it, you would give it out. You don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You guys are demonized. Look at them. They've run for their life. My, my friend, my friend, why is it your church teaches that you have to keep the Sabbath to be saved? Why does your church teach that you have to keep the Sabbath to be saved? That, that's what I've been told by many, many of your clients who follow the Seventh Day Adventist camp. No, they're running. I will attack you back if you attack me. Look how violent they're getting. Look how violent they're getting. I have to put papers on our faces because they can't cope with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. You believe in Satan. Well, I wipe the dust on my feet. I'll leave them to it. In conclusion. Uh, no, let, let me just say this, right? The thing, as we've seen here, these individuals of the Seven Days Adventist cult cannot defend their religion. They believe you can keep the, you have to keep the Sabbath to be a Christian. The issue with that, though, as Romans 3.28 tells us, is by faith you're saved. According to Ephesians 2.8-10, it tells us it's by faith you're saved, not by your own good works. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 7.25 that Christ is the intercessor between man and God. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 2.5 that Christ is the intercessor between man and God. But you've noticed, they have a lot of literature over there. Literature that has nothing to do with the gospel. They attack John Wycliffe, Martin Luther and William Tyndale. But who was it that pinnacled the Reformation? The very thing that gets you the Bible you read today. Notice these hypocrites don't even know what their own history is. It's ridiculous. This is why we don't believe in a cult that comes out of the 19th century. No, we believe in Jesus Christ who came from the first century, his religion, which clearly tells us that by his blood and his atonement, we are saved, not by our own good works. It's not about keeping the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for the man, and man was made for the Sabbath. You don't have to keep the count to be a Christian. Go on. I like the Pharisees, when the Pharisees told Jesus off for healing on the Sabbath, and he said that he's the Lord of the Sabbath, and he said that statement that Sabbath was made for man, not for God. Amen. Jesus said he's the Lord of the Sabbath. Pharisees saying that you have to keep the Sabbath. Amen. Jesus says the Lord of the Sabbath, and he breaks it because he's the Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus is the new Sabbath. He told them. He told them that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Oh, this, this conversation is going to happen again back God over there. And Jesus yeah. 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 the Pharisees for trying to hold the Sabbath, madam. Yeah. Even anyway, leave them. Leave them to it. They're just like Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why, this is why conclusion. Ecumenism. Uh, see, ecumenism is false. You know, you had an individual there trying to uh, throw an adamant at John, saying, "Why are you shaking?" A spirit of Islam he had in him, um, and also, you see, these people they claim to be Christians, and they have not a single Bible. They kept showing one Bible that a woman has in her bag to prove that they have a Bible. They have books written by Ellen G. White, who is a false prophetess, who had a vision from a false fallen angel and they bring him another gospel. Christian ecumenism is false because it, it means that anybody who calls himself a Christian is actually born again. When these individuals, they're not born again.